it'll take it automatically to the to the maximum <laughs> the maximum that you can buy all right so i know it's been a while since i've posted anything on like what project i'm actually working on um, what i got going on and everything so this is something that i guess i'm calling a tech demo uh for the idle game well i say idle game i want it to be uh, an rpg maker game with idle game combat uh as the next project i'm working on so uh, i've been programming this purely with ruby i've not done anything actually inside of rpg maker this is ran uh strictly through scripting so it's kind of been an onboarding for me uh, to, or, or like, you know, a, a good way for me to learn Ruby. I've been reading books, taking video courses, stuff like that on Ruby. It's been a good way for me to like practice that knowledge. Um, and it's given me a lot of ideas as far as what I want to see in the game that I'm working on. So uh, we'll talk more about that game later, but I just kind of want to get into it to show you all what this looks like. Um, I'm not doing anything. This is just kind of happening on its own. Um, once we get into some runs where I have a little bit more time before we uh, hit the fail state, then we'll we'll talk about it some more. So uh, there's three three main options here. Okay, on the on I guess the home screen. There's fight, which will take you to an area to fight enemies. Now each area has a boss every 100 levels. The boss has drastically higher health, uh, as well as a higher time limit in most cases, uh, but it kind of serves as a DPS check for you to continue on to the next stage. Uh, once you defeat that boss at level 100, you can go to the next stage whenever you're ready. Uh, and you can kind of go back and forth whenever you want. Uh, we have the shop, which I had plans for this to be its own full-fledged game, but uh, like I said, I'm reworking that into an actual, you know, an RPG maker game. So this will be the only thing in the shop, but there's the channeling crystal, which is your upgrade currency. And then bread, bread restores. This says 200 HP. This is a like a, you know, bug uh, or just incorrect text that I need to change. Uh, what bread does is it restores 25% HP, not 200. So, uh, also apologies if you hear any background noise, they're doing construction on the, the apartment underneath me. So that's always fun. Uh, finally, we have the upgrade menu and here you can upgrade a few different things. So add unit, uh, we'll add another unit to your party. You can have a maximum of eight. Each time you purchase a unit, uh, basically a zero gets added on here, right? So if we buy another one, it'll, the cost will be a 100 and it'll continue to go up. Uh, the reason it goes up is because your ability to gain the upgrade currency uh, increases pretty quickly, I would say. Uh, we have strength. Strength increases the attack of each unit by whatever the uh, level of strength is times 10. So when we level it up to 2, each unit will get 2 times 10, so 20 more strength added on to their stats. Uh, these are your total stats here. Your total HP is all of your unit's HP combined and your total attack is all of your units attack combined. Uh, fitness does the same thing as strength, but with units health. Attack speed. Now this is how many times, uh, what's a better way to phrase this? Actually the way I wrote it down here, you attack every 60 minus whatever the level is frames, okay? So there's 60 frames in a second. So let's say you had attack speed 30. You would attack every 30 frames. And since there's 60 frames in a second, you would attack twice every second this is pretty weak early on but as you progress uh, attack speed will go all the way up to 20 times per second which is really really strong uh, you'll see that the bar uh, can't even keep up in some cases the next upgrade we have is the gold multiplier uh, now gold xp and cc are all five because they're so powerful as an upgrade Gold will multiply the gold gain by the level. So when it's level two, we'll gain double gold. When it's level three, we'll gain triple gold and so on and so forth. Uh, XP and CC do the same thing, uh, just with XP and your upgrade currency. Now with the upgrade currency, you gain one upgrade point every time a unit levels up. If this was level two, you would gain two upgrade points every time a unit levels up. So we're just gonna kinda go through the gameplay. I'll, I'll talk about it some more as we play. But 
I, I think this overall turned out pretty well. Uh, we've still got one point. I don't know if I want to save this or if I want to go ahead and use it. Uh, let's save it for now. So here is the time limit for each enemy. Uh, this is the enemy's HP. This is how many enemies that you've defeated. This is the total amount of time that you've spent inside uh, the, I guess, battle arena. This is your total HP. Uh, well, actually, this is your current HP. Uh, this is every time this bar fills, that's when you attack. And then obviously you have all of the different stats on the side. So it's the current enemy stats, how much damage per second you're, you know, or how much health per second essentially you lose while you're in this area. Okay, so let's talk about the fail state. This video may look a little weird depending on how I cut it, but uh, we finished that last run with seven upgrade points. I think what I want to do is go ahead and, and increase CC gain because they're gaining levels relatively quickly right now. Uh, the amount of experience it takes to get to the next level obviously increases like it would in a standard RPG as you go. So we're going to go ahead and use this here. Uh, and let's buy two bread. Uh, I've got a little reward pop up on the screen as well. It looks pretty cool when the attack speed gets fast because you just see rewards popping up like crazy. Very, very nice eye candy. Um, it kind of gives you that power fantasy. Attack speed is my favorite build to run going through this little tech demo. We are just, uh, just plugging right along. I wanted to go ahead and point out we should be getting close to half health. Uh, the bread healing will automatically trigger at half health. Uh, yes, there you go. You see it jump back up and now we lost a bread. Now, as far as implementing this in um, in an actual RPG Maker game, I would probably rework this UI. Like I, the UI is very functional. Like it does everything it needs to do. It shows you everything it needs to show you, but it's a little busy. There's like a million different windows. Um, maybe this could all be one window or something like that. Uh, maybe this doesn't even need to be here unless it's an option that you have turned on, something like that. Uh, but if I were to, or, and I am, uh, planning on redoing this for an RPG maker game, this UI would look pretty drastically different. I was just sort of making the UI up as I went along and, uh, kind of settled on this. So we've got a fair amount of upgrade points here, which is good. Uh, we can put one into experience and, uh, we'll probably put the rest into attack speed. All right. So level 100. Uh, we've got the boss here as you can see the the boss has a massive amount of health so not only do you have to survive to get to the boss and survive the boss fight see now we have no bread we won't heal you also have to get rid of all its health within the time limit or else you'll go back to the main screen and uh it does not look like we're gonna make it which is okay which is okay because we can definitely make it on the next run i think i actually i think i put like four into three or four into attack speed and one into strength. Okay. So let's increase XP here. Uh, and then we're going to put one, let's do two into strength and three into attack speed. I have a handler for this because the amount of gold that you get gets pretty insane and you don't want to have to press left and right constantly to increase it. So if you press shift, it'll take it automatically to the, ma to the ma maximum. <laughs> the maximum that you can buy uh, same way with the upgrades if you hold shift and then confirm you know the that you want the upgrade it will take it to to the maximum level allowed with the amount of uh you know upgrade currency that you have so let's go back into the forest here actually we need to go back and buy some bread i forgot about that you can leave this battle screen at any time by uh, just pressing cancel now i was talking about attack speed earlier um and how it's it's slow going early on so as you can see our attack speed is just 1.05 now we're attacking slightly faster uh than once per second but ever so slightly uh, as you get towards right around level 30 i think is when it starts to pick up like i said it has a maximum level of 58 as you can kind of see in the code over here um right around level 30 it really starts to pay off um, you start to attack super, super fast. Hopefully I'll have time in this video to show that. And I'll probably kind of skip around. You'll see a lot of like jump cuts because I'm trying to just highlight what, you know, what I want to get across as far as like what I've created, things I want to carry over into the RPG Maker game, stuff like that. Um, I, this, this has given me a lot of insight into how RPG Maker handles 
um, its various like methods and arrays, stuff like that. Uh, I won't get too into the weeds because I know not everybody's a programmer, uh, but it really gave me some insight into a lot of how RPG Maker VX Ace functions and utilizes things inside of its scripting system. Okay, so we're coming up to the boss. Let's see how we fare this time. I think we have the DPS for the boss. Yeah, I, I think we'll be okay. Uh, we'll both be able to survive, and I think we'll we'll do enough damage to beat the time limit. And then we can go on to the second area. However, uh, depending on how you build, you'll probably, uh, you might have to grind in this area just a bit before moving on to the second area. The second area has some enemies with some really high uh, HP values. And the DPS, I believe, is 75. So you're taking 75 damage per second, which is a lot. Uh, so yeah, we beat the boss. There's no like background sound or anything. The only uh, music, well, it's not music. The only sound at all is when you try to purchase something that you cannot afford. Uh, I don't, you, you guys probably aren't hearing this, but uh, there's a, a buzzer sound happening. Uh-oh. Well, that would seem like a bug. Yeah, it seems like we've caused uh, some sort of issue there. So I'll probably just do a quick run through again. Um, probably keep like the same stat distribution and stuff, and then I'll cut to the. As that is some sort of bug. Uh, I, I probably need to go ahead and say that you know I'm going to put this up on an itch page for you all to download and check out if you want to. But I, I'm pretty much just calling it quits at this point. I wouldn't say that this is a, a complete demo or anything. You're gonna you're probably gonna find bugs. Uh, I actually didn't even know that that bug existed, but. Uh, you, you might find bugs here and there, but for the most part, it should function well as long as you kind of just, you know, play it as you would expect. Okay, so I have grinded to the point again uh, where we beat the boss and we've unlocked the second area. I didn't want to do too much else um, without kind of talking to you all about uh, or, or being able to show you all how difficult the dirt cave is. So let's just go in. And as you can see, the HP has jumped from like 72 being the highest in the previous area to 17, you know, 18,000. I'm sorry. So you can see our HP just plummeting. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get another experience multiplier in here. Uh, this is a slightly different build than I had last time. And then we'll do one into attack speed. And then we'll just grind a little bit in the previous area. And then I'll probably jump back once, uh, once we get done grinding. Okay, so I've been grinding for a little bit. Uh, I've got six upgrade points that I wanna put into. I kind of want to put them all into attack speed, but I think I'm going to do one more into experience and one into attack speed. And then uh, we'll buy a bunch of bread. Let's see if we're strong enough to do the dirt cave yet. I don't think so. No, no, we're definitely not. So I'm going to grind a little bit more and then we'll cut once again. Okay, so we've got six upgrade points again. Uh, this time I'm going to go all in on strength so that we can hopefully go ahead and go into the next area. So now our attacks all the way up to 1100. We should be fine now uh, going into the dirt cave. Yeah, we just need to buy some bread real quick to make sure we can survive. And uh, let's work our way through a few enemies here. All right, first enemy down. This is uh, this one's a tough one, but we're losing health so fast. You can see that we're just burning through bread right now. We're we just want to get rid of a few of these enemies for the massive XP dumps. Uh, so we can get some upgrade points to get a little bit stronger. Uh, I want to wait until they grow to the next level and then we can purchase another unit and it should be pretty smooth sailing from there. All right, uh, let's grab another unit and then we're going to put all in on attack speed. Let's buy a little bit more bread. Let's go back into the dirt cave and see how we do. We should get a, a big chunk of upgrade points once this character uh, levels up super, super quickly. And then we'll probably dump that all into attack speed. I want to keep going into attack speed because I think attack speed is the most interesting upgrade. Oh, we've got 30. Wow. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to hold a shift to hit the max level uh, that we can get with the upgrade points. Now we're at level 44. So now we're going to attack three and a half times per second. Uh, and the bar looks really cool uh, when it gets once it gets faster and faster. It gets so fast that it just looks like it's blinking. Yeah, this is what I was talking about with attack speed. Attack speed gets to the point where it's just insanely, insanely powerful. Uh, it's just not very good early on. 
So we should start flying through uh, through enemies now. I don't think I'm going to show off world three to you guys, but I would like to get to the boss of this world and beat that boss. Oh, let's go to attack speed, max that out at 58, and then we'll put, well, actually it seems as though I've crashed it again. I may do a little bit of bug testing uh, before I put this video out to make sure that it doesn't crash, uh, which it's weird. I've not had any issues with the game crashing like that so far. So I don't know if it's something on my end or what exactly is going on, but um, I may do a little bit of debugging before then. Like I said before though, um, there's there's just gonna be bugs. This is a technical demo. I don't, I, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't really wanna work too much more on it. I wanted to uh, start spending time putting something like this in an actual RPG Maker game. So I'm going to throw this on itch, let you all download it and play with it. If it crashes, I'm sorry. It's just to kind of show off um, maybe what a system like this could look like in RPG Maker. With that being said, uh, you can see me game devving. Uh, I would say, I don't know, 30 to 50% of the time over on my Twitch channel. So feel free to check that out. We've got an awesome discord that I'll put a link to in the description. Feel free to join and talk about your game or ask other people about theirs. And uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this. I appreciate it. This is what I've been working on. Uh, just learning Ruby and trying to practice the things that I learned inside this tech demo. So I appreciate you all. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And until next time, bye.